Hey everyone, I'm Nicole Herrick DIY and today I'm going to try and weld plastic because I broke my neighbor's car and she's not very happy. So let's see if we can get this fixed. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so my amazing neighbor Wendy asked me to install a collision cam for her. She has a very new car and she's a little bit OCD. I'm sorry, Wendy, but you are. And um, yeah, so I, I broke this off one of the panels in her car whilst installing it. Um, I am actually ordering her a new part to make it brand new. But considering I have this plastic part that I can practice on, I thought I would try plastic welding. So plastic welding is just melting plastic in order to reform it, but you do need to add some strength. Just welding it up or gluing it is not gonna give any strength. You probably tried that before. What we need is this stainless steel mesh. So this is the 304 stainless steel mesh specifically for uh, welding plastic and giving the strength. So I'm going to cut a little piece of this. The other things I have is a soldering iron. Now this did come with a flat plate as well, but can I find it? Absolutely not. Why would I be able to find it? I bought this well before I was actually organized with all my tools. We're going to make do. See how we go. I also have a spatula to press against it after I've heated it. Now this is a flexible silicon spatula because the stainless steel apparently can warp a little bit. I'm going to be able to sort of press it down into the form, the bend that it's going in uh, to keep that nice and flat. I also have some alcohol that I'm going to clean the plastic pieces with thoroughly before I start. A leather glove to protect my hand and also a vapor mask because this is going to give off plastic vapors so you don't know what that in your lungs. All right, let's start by cleaning our plastic. So a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a microfiber cloth and where's my brake? I'm just going to clean up the brake and behind. Okay, done. Now we are going to cut a piece of our stainless steel mesh that's going to match this. All right, so maybe what I'll do is uh, draw a template just so that I have like a really good piece that is going to work. Can I cut it with my kitchen scissors? We shall see. All right, let's try and make this fit around this little thing here. All right, let's do some tacking. If you've never been here before, welcome. Subscribe to my channel absolutely for free. I've been here for 10 years, so why aren't you subscribed already? You will learn about more DIY and repairs. And also another free thing you can do is drop a like and a comment below. This greatly helps the algorithms get my videos out there to more people who need to be able to fix things and save money. So tack welding is essentially just welding a few small spots along the piece to hold everything in place. Now you just need to get a feel for how long you will need to hold your soldering iron on the piece of plastic in order for a little bit of the plastic to melt through onto the front side of the stainless steel mesh. So here you can see I'm starting to connect my little welds. So I'm just sort of drawing a line across them. And then I'm gonna go in and start using the edge of my soldering iron to wipe across larger surface areas and start bringing all of that plastic through to the top of the stainless steel. Now I don't want to go all the way to the edge at this stage where the break is because we need to wait until we get it on the other piece of plastic ready to infuse them both across that break. I'm also just going to cut off any excess now whilst it's easier to get my scissors in there. Now it is time to join our two pieces. So I've chosen to clamp down my large piece because I don't have three hands. Uh, but also if you have a smaller piece, there's these great little uh, clip holders that you can use to hold small pieces for your extra hand. Also, I hope you're enjoying the focus on my pink pajama pants. 
So let's start bridging this join. So I'm going to start with a few long strokes in a few places, so basically long tack welds, and then I can start going in and doing some larger surface areas and just try and get everything nice and even and try and get that stainless steel mesh flat. Remember, you can use that flexible silicon heat resistant spatula if you need to. These are just from the kitchen section. And we just want to smoosh in all of that stainless steel evenly so that we have a beautiful, healthy, strong weld. I don't know why I said healthy. It just, it sounds right. Okay, so here's another angle of what we're looking like so far. So I've just done some joining bridges here. And then let's take a look at the other side. So you can see it's still, you know, a crack. Uh, let's keep going and I'll try and smooth all of this out. I'm going to stop talking now because this part is very satisfying. Okay, so here is what we are looking like. Quite messy, that's okay though. I've also done another join on this end here. And then I've wrapped it over to this side. I don't know if I can do that along here as well, but I think that'll be okay. And then let's have a look at the other side. So yeah, you can still see it, but in certain lights, barely. Job done. If you found this video extra helpful and you're so grateful that you've been able to save from a few dollars to a few hundred dollars, a little something extra you could do is buy me a coffee. Just know that I won't spend it on coffee. I will spend it on tools. The link is down below. This is absolutely not obligation. This is just a way that those who want to give a little bit of extra help can contribute to me making these videos for all of you. Thanks so much for watching. See ya later.